next topic prosthetics or prosthesis so what is the difference between a orthosis and a prosthesis so in orthosis we are applying a, a medical device externally device externally that is to support or correct or counteract the force deforming force on the other hand in prosthesis we are replacing the function yes i want a mobile joint just to replace the limb yes so the either we are going to replace the function or appearance of the limb so, so i have i am doing an amputation to a patient in that patient even though he doesn't want a function of the limb but he wants a limb that looks like the actual limb so that time we can do a prosthesis yes without any we can give a static prosthesis without any movement at the knee joint so either we are replacing the function or the appearance of the missing limb so prosthesis can be of two types one is a exoskeletal which is completely lying outside the body surface yes and the second one is called endoskeletal here what we will do see assume that this is a limb here we are taking a bone cut so we will be instructing a screw yes the screw will be inserted into the shaft of the bone of the amputated limb yes so with the screw we will be connecting the um, prosthesis externally so that's why it is called as endoskeletal because some part of the prosthesis have contact with the internal structure that is actually a bone so that's why it's called as a endoskeletal prosthesis yes so coming to the first prosthesis that is called as SACH foot or routinely called as SAC foot. S stands for solid. So which region it is? Ankle. C cushioned heel. Yes. Okay. So coming to the parts, this part is called as keel. Yes. So this part is called a keel. So this keel is made up of a solid material, which is wood. Yes, so it's a wood. On the other hand, this heel part is made up of a cushioned material. Yes. So hence the name solid ankle, which is a keel with a cushioned heel. Yes. So what is mean by a keel? Yes, keel means we all know ship, right? Yes. So the ship in the ship, whatever the part that is submerged in water. Yes. That part is called as the heel, which is making the ship float. Yes. So similar to that, whenever you are making a prosthesis. Yes. So this is a abony prosthesis. In the abony prosthesis, the shaft part of the or a shank part of the prosthesis gets attached to this foot sack foot yes so this part takes or taking the entire limb yes are the taking the entire prosthesis into the proximal part of the sack foot that's why it is called as a keel of the foot okay so this keel is made up of a solid structure that is wood so that's the name sack foot so the next one is called as a jaipur foot since it's made in a medical college in jaipur so on looking on the on taking a first look at the Jaipur food, we are having a um, feeling that it looks somewhat similar to the actual limb. Yes. So see, this is like a some wooden shoe. Yes. But this process is, is looking like a foot actually. Yes. So this is made up of a rubberized material or a vulcanized rubber material. Yes. And here the keel part. Yes. Which takes the prosthesis. Yes. Shank of the uh, prosthesis so that part is made up of a flexible material with rubber so here the keel or ankle region is flexible on the other hand in the sack foot it is rigid so that's why solid yes so because of the flexibility patient can do squatting so in indian setup Jaipur foot is more preferred because we use an Indian type of toilets. So patients with replaced with Jaipur foot, they are more uh, this thing. They prefer are the patient compatibility in an Indian setup. Jaipur foot is more flexible. Means they can adapt the squatting posture. Yes. 
then it will allow all the movements of the normal foot but the range of movement will be reduced but on the other hand in sat foot it won't allow any movement because the ankle part is made up of a solid structure but it will allow minor dorsiflexion that is called as pseudo movement because of the cushion because the since the cushion is made up of a heel part is made up of a soft cushion it will all allow some dorsiflexion which is a pseudo movement it is not a actual movement but here since it is made up of flexible material it will allow true movement of dorsiflexion inversion and eversion yes and regarding the patient patient uh, patient compatibility patient can use this jaipur foot even they can do barefoot walking but on the other hand patients using a sat foot they cannot do a barefoot walking and one more extra thing i want to add on is see since it is made up of a rubber material even when there is a wet surface this rubber material patient can walk or they can stay in a minor water yes because the rubber is having a hydrophobic effect yes but on the other hand since sat foot is made up of a wooden material even though they will do the repellent things still there is a chance that this wooden material can get damaged due to water or other liquids so water repellent material is jaipur foot so indian setup jaipur foot is more preferred than sat foot which is made from a western setup yes so coming to the next prosthesis above knee prosthesis whenever a patient is having an amputations above the level of knee joint yes assume the patient is having a transfemoral amputation so that time we will be giving a above knee prosthesis so what are the parts of a above knee prosthesis so this part is called as suspension belt yes we will be writing here suspension belt okay so this one and here this is the socket or thigh socket to take up the amputated limb and this is called as a shank made up of wood or a rubber material yes shank and this is the terminal prosthesis which in this case is a sat foot terminal prosthesis yes so after amputation is done we will generally allow the patient with the, we will apply a cast yes to just to give a temporary mold then once the swelling subsides generally it will take 2 to 4 weeks after 4 weeks we will prefer giving a prosthesis then coming to the next one below knee prosthesis for the trans tibial amputation or below knee amputation trans tibial amputation so this particular type is called patellar tendon bearing socket ptb patellar tendon bearing socket type prosthesis yes so here also there is a suspension belt and wooden shank and the terminal part is made up of shank foot indian setup we prefer jaipur foot